uh, there is something called as one, uh, one tail test and two tail test while doing uh, this, this kind of an inference. So uh, suppose I am sure, I am very sure that uh, that for whatsoever reason that my alternative is has a direction. Usually alternatives are directional when we have a theory to make these kind of predictions. Okay, say for example, my theory says that uh, population mean is 50. Alternative says that population mean is say greater than 50. Okay, so not not equal to 50, but the chance that I would I would get it's it's, it's greater than 50. Okay, so if I get a value smaller than 50 if my alternative is greater than and if I get a value smaller than then I accept null okay which means that what I am trying to do I am trying to look at the area beyond the mean okay I am expecting the x bar to be larger than mu okay if x bar is smaller than mu perhaps in reality I need not do the statistical test because it's smaller than mu, so I know for sure that the t value would be negative, and I would re I would retain the null. If x bar is larger than mu, then and then only I would do a t test and perhaps test whether uh, the uh, uh, it, it is significant or not. Now, when I'm looking at only one side of x bar, then I would do what I'm looking for. I would reject this null. I would reject this null only if only if the x bar has uh, is, is higher than the mu. Okay, so I am looking at integrating this area. So what I, I, I wish to integrate? I wish to integrate uh, a area which is let me find out the value for it. negative 68 okay positive 1.68 to positive infinity if I do f of x with respect to x is equal to 0 0.0 so this is 1.68 1.68 so any value greater than 1.68 I would accept as rejection of null this is one tail test. I would use one tail test if I have an alternative direction. The other directional alternative I could have had is mu is less than, less, than less than 50. Okay. In that case, I would have looked at the area this side and would it would have ignored the other side area. So I can do uh, this kind of a, a, a directional test. Uh, for all uh, practical purposes, one of the advantage of directional test is power. The chance that you would reject a null hypothesis is higher with a directional test than with a non-directional test. Okay. Uh, obviously, with non-directional test, the uh, uh, guard against type one error is higher because you are you are using more stringent probabilities uh, while using type. Uh, uh, non-directional 